Hello and goodbye November, gonna try and keep it brief. So early this month released the preview for the real Game Chasers, which actually got really great response. I wasn't sure whether I was gonna go forward with it or not, if people still wanna see it, and people do. So that's a good thing and, you know, troublesome thing, but definitely wanna do it, so I'm glad people still dig it. If you haven't checked it out, it's in the links. So also a new RetroWare show that I'm in, that I was involved in, um, Awesome Gaming Moments, that's out there now. It's kind of like a take on the, I mean, I'm not really familiar with sports shows, but it's the sports show 30 for 30 kind of thing. Um, so it's sort of like, well, I don't want to give away the whole thing, but basically the idea for the first one is we're pretty much acting as if the events that happened during Mike Tyson's punch out actually happened in real life. So we're like real sports commentators kind of thing talking about it. So anyway, maybe it's not best to describe it. Maybe you should just watch it. That is in the description as well. Links. Other thing that I've been working on this month, I didn't quite get finished, but um, those of you that have been asking for the podcast, it's finally freaking coming back, but it's kind of a slow going thing. I was trying to upload all the old episodes to a new YouTube channel, talk about that in a second, but I got about halfway or a little bit more than halfway when I realized that some of them didn't have the music in them like they used to, which is kind of an essential part for some of the episodes that we've done. So I've actually reached out to Andrew to be like, hey, do you still have those old episodes? Because for whatever reason, I don't have them. So he's looking into that right now. Episodes one through, I think like 15 or 16 or something like that are going to be available right now. Now, um, by the time I put this up, I should have made those episodes live because I've been loading them up slowly in the background. It's going to be on a new YouTube channel. I had kind of been hesitant to put it on YouTube. I wasn't sure where, where would be the best place. I researched it. There just wasn't a place that I could upload it that wouldn't cost me money and I already make no money on it. So I really couldn't just afford to, to spend money and make no money and in fact be in, a, in the hole with it. So um, I'm, I'm going to upload them to YouTube. I was going to upload them to this channel, but I was wasn't sure what the reception would be like. So just for now to be safe, I'm just gonna upload them to a separate channel. The link to that channel is in the description if you wanna subscribe, I'll be uploading um, episodes to get caught up to where we were, which we were almost on episode 30. I have one episode that I still have to, I mean, it's super not topical anymore, but I have an ep a new episode no one's heard that will be up hopefully soon, but I have to get those old episodes up first because I'm trying to fill in the backlog. And of course, those are those ones that don't have music in them. So I got to find those two. But anyway, podcast is back it's on YouTube, it's on a new channel. Subscribe to that channel if you're interested in the podcast. That's all I plan on putting on there for now. And if people really, really want, I can put them on this YouTube channel. I just haven't done that because I know that there's a lot of people that probably don't care about the podcast. So I didn't want to flood the channel with a bunch of those videos and risk losing interest from other people that are just here for videos, which I'll talk about that in a second. I know that people really want the video game reviews. I just, it's one of those time consuming things that I can only do every so often. So I'd like to make it a monthly thing, but I certainly couldn't do that this month. So that what I just talked about was the content that I have to offer for this month. I've spent the entire month studying for Japanese tests, which I have the Japanese language proficiency test and for this coming Sunday when I'm recording this. So wish me luck on that. I've been really studying hard, so hopefully I can pass that. So for November, I couldn't work on the video game review that I plan on doing at all, which means it would be December at the earliest. So hopefully still this year I could get that out, but I'm not gonna push it to the point where I just get it out this year just to get it out. I, I want it to be good. So that will be the next thing I work on, but I still have at least until the end of this weekend that I'm just studying Japanese every day. So that's really what I've been doing. I feel bad. I mentioned last month, I got two CDs from people that I met at the convention last year. I still haven't had a chance to listen to them. The reason for that is my stereo broke in my car and my phone broke. That has nothing to do with it, but just channeling what's been going on. <laughs> so my stereo broke. I have no way to listen to the CDs. So I'm really sorry about that. I still plan on listening to them. I'll let you know as soon as I do. So that's going to be next month. So thank you for sending them. I'm really sorry. Thanks for giving me them. I'll check them out, sorry. And yeah, like I said, my phone broke, so I had to spend like too much money on this new phone. Too, I don't even wanna discuss it. So pretty much all I've done all month was study Japanese, but real quick blog, vlog stuff. Stuff I've been playing, I mentioned this whole bunch of video games I had over here from last month, bunch of Japanese games, played a bunch of those. I actually got kind of far in the Wagyon something series. So yeah, playing that, that was pretty fun with the very little amount of free time that I afforded myself that wasn't used on studying Japanese in some way, shape or form. I'll be really upset if I don't pass that test after all this. I have really just put it down this month. Another thing about video games real quick, only loosely related, I got these Frogger scratch tickets and they're pretty cool. Actually, I got them at this uh, machine at my grocery store. It's awesome, it plays the Frogger sound when you buy it. I don't know, I thought that was cool. But it's not your typical scratch game. I mean, you can see that you gotta scratch and go up the little paths or whatever. So it's kind of like you're playing Frogger trying to get across the street and 
if you get all the way, I guess you get some points or you can win instant prizes or prizes. Or if you get three of the same type, that will also get you a win, which I haven't won either, <laughs> but there's also a little scratch so you can um, be entered to win a second chance drawing or something. I don't know what they're doing in other states, but in Colorado, um, I'm assuming it's about the same, but uh, they also have uh, merchandise. Like you can get like a Frogger hat, like a retro Frogger hat or retro Frogger shirt. I haven't won anything. I just thought it was kind of cool. Video games, I really don't have a whole lot to talk about. I've been listening to some of the music of the musicians that are going to be at the Day for Night concert, which I don't know if I'm going to put a link to the Apex Twin uh, promo, promo for that, which was br brilliant and it was awesome with the timing. It was really cool. But anyway, check it out if you like Apex Twin. Otherwise, don't bother, but it's really cool. Um, but I've been checking out, there's so many different bands, I had to figure out what kind of stuff I want to see because I won't have time to see all the shows. But I've listened to that, I've been listening to a lot of Vaporwave still because I was just, you know, I like to try new music out and I'm like still finding all this cool stuff and all these like cool nostalgic sounds. Just like, man, so rad. Anyway, um, really good study material because I need something to play in the background when I'm studying Japanese like crazy. So wish me luck. I'm going to Japanese it up on Sunday. Hopefully I do good. Ganbarimasu. See you next month.